Hello, I'm your host, Reminate Princess. Welcome to the Rabbit Hole. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Here we have Nice Guys Finish Lost. Okay, let's go. All the bad boys that I dated, I thought, you know what? Let me just date the good guy. And that didn't work out because I felt like superior to him. It was no uh, sexual polarity. It just didn't work out because I felt like I was the boss. I felt was like... You, did you find yourself snapping on him and getting a little bit more disrespectful than you normally would? Very. That's typically what happens. Yeah. And I did things to him that I wouldn't do to Katie. And it's unfortunate because he's a good guy. He didn't do anything to me. The problem was is that he didn't put me in my place when he should have, whenever that was supposed to happen. At some point in our relationship he didn't put me in my place as the woman as his woman and he didn't show me that he can lead so I felt like I was leading the entire household when it's really supposed to be him oh well, there's a lot of things wrong here that I really just disagree with because regardless if a man is being a man or isn't being a man that shouldn't take away from you being a woman and that's the thing is I hate too many excuses coming from modern females that a man isn't letting her or allowing her to bring out the woman in her, to bring out the submission in her, to bring out the femininity in her. But that's not how it works. Because how a woman would really move and decide to do things doesn't need to bring out the bitch in her. What this really sounds like to me is that she is just a bitch. And she is using him as an excuse to be a bitch. And that's what modern females do all the time. And I'm seeing it a lot more now. Is that they will always need an excuse for their poor behavior. For their ugly attitude. And I don't really like cursing. And I do my best to avoid cursing. But I need to say it how it is. Because this is the vibe that I get. And most times what you see is modern females will take advantage of men. Um, not even in a relationship, but even in this interview, you know, a lot of guys don't understand girls in general, women or female. You don't really understand our nature. You don't really understand what we can and can't do. You just trust that we do what we do. And the thing is, is you don't see that even a woman and a female, we have the same options, but we don't make the same choices. And what you're seeing is that females, they're making these choices based off their options because they can and they can get away with it. So when she goes on this interview and then so proudly says he didn't put her in her place, what that says to me is that she was continuously testing him. She was continuously pushing his buttons to get something out of him that she wanted him to be and he never was that now as a woman if you wanted that from a man you will either tell him that or just leave the relationship but you wouldn't now go ahead and do this tug war with him and try and bring out a side to him that he never had and that's a big him problem not a you problem the thing is is when a man picks his wife he doesn't need to get into the itty gritty biologically what makes a woman a woman and what makes a female a female he doesn't need to get all into that because at the end of the day he's focused on being a man and what he can provide for his family and his wife and so he already knows what he wants to pick but on the other side of things a woman and a female we understand the itty gritty of things even if we don't understand the biology the biological side of it, we understand the options that we have. We understand what we can and can't do. And we also understand what we can get away with. And she is using that to be able to express how she can get away with being a total bitch. I hate to say it, but it's true. And she knows this. And that's why she can be so comfortable saying that she was able to be a certain way around this guy. And that this nice guy, good guy, just didn't step up and do what he was supposed to do. So she just did what she wanted to do. And she knows that they ain't going to understand why. They just have to take it in and listen. But I'm not going to do that because I understand that you had a choice to be a certain way. You always had choices. You always had options more than men do. So when a woman or even a female, they choose to be a certain way, trust me, it's a choice. 
And the real difference is a woman, even if the man wasn't being a man, her choices and her actions will be so different from a female. And what you see is modern females, they will give you excuses. They will give you reasons to validate their own poor behavior, their own ugly attitude, because they just can. And they will use the lack of understanding that you have of what makes a woman and a female to get away with it. And that's what she's doing. Now, I'm not taking the fact away that that good guy had to be a man and had to step up in his own way, but I'm not going to excuse her own behaviour the way she's excusing it and the way even these men in the interviews are excusing it. But she understands this and she will use it to her advantage. If you really listen to what she's saying, it's so contradicting because she's saying at some point I was expecting him to put me in my place. But at some point, you should realise that you ain't going to get what you expect from him. So keep it moving. Why would you continuously be a certain way just to get something out of him? You know, these are the choices that she decided to make. So how I see is you enjoyed antagonising him. You enjoyed being a bitch. You enjoyed having attitude. You enjoyed whatever it was in that moment because a woman now if she can't be able to get a man to be a man she will just tell him the truth and tell him listen i don't think you're ready to actually be the man that i need you to be and this is why and she will keep him moving she won't continue to antagonize the guy so he can suddenly put her in a place no matter how much of a man isn't a man it doesn't give you a reason to be a certain way and it doesn't give you a reason to be horrible To me, she sounds like a bully. She sounds like someone you don't want to be around. She doesn't really sound friendly. She doesn't sound nice. And this is all I'm seeing from her. Because she even admits to herself and to us that her partner, the good guy, didn't do anything to her. So you just consciously chose to be that way. Now, no one wants to be around that. Because what it shows me that You are just actively like that. Even when no one does anything to you, you will still be that way. And to me, that's a very ugly person. So I understand that he had some flaws and lack in him, that he's going to have to deal with himself, but you are an ugly person to be around. To my princesses, I will tell you this. There's a way of dealing with things when... A man isn't stepping up in a relationship. There's a way of being able to communicate to him that you are expecting him to be a certain way without having to antagonize and push buttons. You know, let's not use excuses. Let's not use other people to validate our own ugly behavior. Let's not do that, okay? Because a woman doesn't do that. A woman, what she does, she thinks about not only now and the relationship she's in but she also thinks about her future and so what you will see is that she will make certain choices that will benefit her future now how is that by her attitude by how she is in her present relationship even if she knows that her and this man ain't going to go far because of loads of reasons that are very valid she would choose to deal with it a different way so that doesn't ruin her chances for the next partner that she wants to be with. You see, you think that who you are in this relationship won't affect you in the next relationship. Just because you validated it doesn't mean it's been validated. It doesn't mean that will suddenly change who you are. You are still going to be that person. See, that's why a woman will actually delicately choose how she wants to deal with a situation because she actually takes pride in being a woman. She takes pride in being a certain way. She takes pride in the fact that she doesn't need to be this way, that way, that way to get what she wants. She can do things so smoothly and leave it at that and get to the next person and tell her man, oh, you know what, the last relationship I was, I actually tried. And you know what? He didn't step up. And I just had to leave because he wasn't doing the things that I was hoping he would do as a man. Now, a female, she would be like, well, 
he didn't tell me what I had to do. He never put me in my place. I kept doing things. I kept doing things and he didn't say anything. So you know what? I don't want to go for good guys anymore. Now, realistically, what man is going to want you after that? Even though the guy, he liked being a man, it still comes down to your actions. It still comes down to how did you respond to him? What was your response to him not being what he was supposed to be? And that's the difference between a woman and a female is your response to every time a man acts, every time he does something, whether it's good or bad, what's your response going to be like? Don't think that because he does something that will excuse your pitiful behavior. It does not. And that's what a woman thinks about. She thinks about, wow, okay, well, what am I going to do about this now? And how is this going to affect me? in the future how is this going to affect me and my partner that I really want to be with she thinks about these things that's why she gets married that's why she has a home and has children has a family because she thought about this a long time before and she didn't want no one around her to change that for her she was in control of her life her actions regardless of the bumps the goods the bad she still chose to deal with things a certain way. And so what happens is when she gets into another relationship, the man sees that and he actually appreciates that she was a woman throughout all of it. And that is like gold because it's like, wow. So even though he lacked being a man, it never changed you from being a woman. And it shouldn't change none of you either. So to me, this is a poor excuse for her poor behaviour. Don't let that be you either. To my princes, this is what I will say. It's always important that you own up to when you're not a man and when you are a man. It's always important to understand the type of man that you want to be as well. It's always important that you always work on being the best man that you can be. And it's very important that you make sure that you can provide as the man. These are the essentials that you will need to be able to continue your own legacy, to continue to build your household and your home, and to give something to your wife so she can multiply. These are the essentials. And sadly enough, that guy, he didn't really have it, and maybe he didn't really understand it. And that's for his own reasons. And I'm not going to take away the fact that he should have stepped up as a man. But what I will say is this. You need to be careful as well with certain females that will put it or pin it on the guy for their behavior. You know, a lot of times, modern females, they're very good with their words and they're very good with emotion. We're very emotionally intelligent creatures, more, more intelligent emotionally than a man is naturally. This is how we are. So we can understand how even our body language, even our tone, even our approach to a conversation, it will change, will change the whole atmosphere and that will give her more control in how she wants you to perceive what she's saying. And that's what makes us really emotionally intelligent. That's how we can communicate with children because we can make their presence around them feel either calmer, nicer, angrier. We, we have this natural control of things. And that's what she's really doing. And that's what a lot of modern females do. They will make sure they have this control of the conversation and the emotions that's happening so you can perceive it a certain way. And that way you can then validate her behavior because of what she's saying. Now, a lot of times men don't do this because men are very blunt. But women and females, we do this. And you need to understand which one is doing this for your disadvantage or her advantage. Which one is doing this to be honest woman or to be a dishonest female? And that's a very hard thing to tell. But as a man, you need to also be able to tell in between the lines when a female is trying to get away with something and when a woman is being honest. That does take a lot of male influences around you. That does take a lot of experience and it takes learning as well. But these things a man should already have and a man needs or should be on pursuit on getting. So he doesn't lack and he isn't behind but ahead of the game. He can be able to live abundantly as a man. 
To my fellow princes and princesses, here's a quote from Down the Rabbit Hole. And how many hours a day did you do lessons? Ten hours the first, nine the next, and so on. What a curious plan. That's the reason they're called lessons, because they're lesson from day to day. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.